Hurricanes a great year in 1988. Thank you, Coach. Now, the heated rivalry between these college teams is just starting to build in 88. But this fighting spirit goes back decades, as does the origin of their mascots and logos. Though the distance between these three schools is miles long, the football rivalry between them is never-ending. Get us! It's great to be a Miami Hurricane. <laughs> Gators, FSU, Gators, Florida State. Hurricanes, who else? <laughs> Miami's mascot is Sebastian Ibis. As the story goes, the Ibis is a symbol of knowledge and the first sign of wildlife to appear after a storm. Their game, pro-style offense, high scoring, it's exciting. Let's go, Hurricanes, let's go. Woo! We're number one. When Renegade the Appaloosa gallops out with Chief Osceola, mascot Tommy Hawk beats on Big Sam, the Seminole victory drum, the Knolls are ready for battle. Florida State, Florida State, Florida State! Woo! Florida State. Seminole! Woo! Yeah. The first appearance of an alligator logo was in 1908. Why? Because no other team had it, and it was native to the state. The Canes are good, but they're not as good as the Gators this year. We got a lot of, a lot of spunk this year, and the Knolls, forget it. They're, they're out of here. No more. No more. It's going to be our year. It's going to be the Gators. I'm a Gator fan. What can I tell you? I bleed orange and blue, okay? As you can see, fired up fans everywhere in this state. Now let's check out the team's schedules and some pro picks. You'll notice if the Knolls get through their first four games, they could be on their way to a national championship. So let's hear what the pros have to say. Greg Cody of the Miami Herald, Pat Dooley of the Gainesville Sun, and Bill McGrotha of the Tallahassee Democrat write about Florida college football. How do the upcoming schedules look to them? Each has an outstanding defense. Florida's defense, Miami's defense, uh, have been around uh, doing very well for some time. Florida State has gotten there in the last two years. Defense always gives any team a big chance. Obviously the key game is FSU Miami right away. A lot of people feel it's going to be for number one, but also FSU has a couple of hurdles early in the season. And if they can get through those, there's no reason why they can't win at all. Uh, Florida's got a lot of pitfalls in their schedule. They also have some very easy games. They open up with Montana State. Uh, they play Indiana State. But Ole Miss and Vanderbilt on the road can be surprisingly tough games for them. Uh, Miami is a typical Miami schedule in that there's a, several tough games and several easy games. It's going to be, uh, I, that FSU game again is going to be the key for both teams to tell where they go. I think Miami has by far the most difficult schedule of the three state schools. Um, after the Florida State opener, they have games at Michigan, Notre Dame, and LSU. A lot of people are saying that the winner of the Miami-Florida State game has the the best shot at the national title, but even if Miami wins, they've got a tough, tough road, and, and so I don't see Miami coming close to a repeat of its title. I think Florida State could win the championship. Uh, I don't see Florida as a factor at all nationally. And what are some polls predicting for these Florida schools? For Miami, these rankings range from 3 to 7, 8, 9, and 17. The Gators turn up 29th. And FSU's the big projected winner, placing 1 and 2. It's become increasingly competitive. Uh, as Coach Bowden says, this is the big Florida. They talk about the Big Ten, the Big Eight, but the big Florida ain't bad. No, it's not. Now, something new on the schedule, the Gators do not play Miami again until 1992. When we come back, they move, they groove, there are countdown rap videos. So, on the search for them what's played, I blame his birth. That field that Bill is the heat. Well, we have the makings of a very exciting college football season between the Knowles, Canes, and Gators. Hope you'll be in Miami Saturday night for the opener. That's it for our countdown to kick off. We leave you now with our own countdown wrap plus the Seminole wrap. Good luck to all the teams.
play a charge. Hold your ears. The Canes are the number one team. Win, Win it again. again. No hear them scream. The orange and blue up get a ball. Pull better eyes and make them fall. Garnet and go on the search for them what's played. A flame is burnt. The color of orange. Green and white. Champions. We're ready to fight. Orange, blue, green. Garnet. Yellow. All of these dress. A cute little fellow. Bright new stars in 88. Who will win? We'll see you at the game. No, no. University of Miami is number one. Florida State, Florida State. The no! <laughs> it's going to be tough because I'm from Miami and I'm a Seminole, so I'm going to have to wear two hats for this game. Florida State! Just give me the ball and I'll get the job done. Cause I'm six foot two, weigh 224. Just give me the ball and watch me score. Run a 9 for 100. Turn on a dime, get in my way, and it's power time. But I don't want to about this and that. I just want to do the Seminole rap. I thought the Seminoles are thought of state. We know we're good, some say we're great. I go old and simple, best in the land. Rock to the beat of the Mother Chief Band. On Saturday night, we'll spread our stuff. The show the nation, the nose are tough. When the other players, they be ill, so they all know we just be chilling. <laughs> football season began it was the 